Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us. Today, we're going to briefly discuss how to create a work order for multiple items. Now, creating a work order for multiple items might be needed, for example, if the institution has a set of items which need, for example, repair, all need to be transferred somewhere, all need to be bound, some type of process, and rather than scanning in each item separately, it's more efficient to create a set and then to create the work order on every item in the set. There might be, for example, the situation here, there was a flood in the library and they all need to be sent to the repair department all in one shot, getting the work order created for all of them. So let's first of all take a look at the work order type that we will be using. So first we'll go look at that work order. I'm going to switch over to the configuration here on the bottom left. And then rather than starting to navigate around, I'll just do a quick search here for work order. And we'll go into the work order types. These are our work order types. We're going to use the conservation work order type which happens to have several statuses, the fumigation, the initial evaluation, mending, putting it in a box, sewing, rebinding, etc. So this is the work order type which we will use. That is the conservation. Now, we also already have a set. The assumption before beginning here is not only do we have a work order type that we want to use, but also that we have a set. And let's just go take a look at that set. We'll go to Admin, Manage Sets. And the set that I have is called Need to Repair. There it is. And there's three items in it, which for our purposes is enough. There can be 100 items. There can be 1,000 items. It all behaves the same. We've got diversity in trade, whatever happened to productivity, and a critique of violence. So we have our work order type. We have our set. Now, there happens to be a job which we can use to create the work order on all of these items. So let's take a look at that job and let's run it. So we'll go to admin, run a job, and because it's a work order job, it's under requests. So we'll filter here by type request. And here's our job, create physical item work orders. That's the job we're going to use to create a work order on all of these items. We'll click next. We'll choose the set which we already saw earlier, need to repair, and next. Now we'll choose the work order type which we already saw previously, conservation. I can put that into a department, conservation laboratory, and we have an option here, do not pick from shelf. If I do not want this to appear in the pick from shelf list, I won't click, do, I, I, I will check do not pick from shelf. I will say, in fact, do not pick from shelf. And next. So everything's all set. I confirm that everything's good. We click submit. And now Alma is working on those items in the set creating the work order for each of them. And in a moment, we're going to look for these items and see that they do have the work order. We'll also be able to see that they have the work order by going to Fulfillment, Monitor Requests, and then Filter by Just Today. First, I'll refresh this screen, and I see that the job is complete. Let's go take a look at those items. We'll go to Admin. Manage set so we can see the members of this set again. So this is called repair, need to repair, something along those lines. There it is. Members. So all of these now will have a work order. You can see already here we've got a, a link to the requests. And that request will be a work order request. And you can see we did not pick from shelf. And you can see already it's at the conservation laboratory. The process type is conservation for all three of them. That means they have the work order. 
It's already where it needs to be. I'm going to click on that link of the requests also, and I can see the request here. It brought me right to the requests. And like we stated, we can also see this if we come to fulfillment and monitor requests and item process statuses. I've got 587 requests here, but if I want to see those that we just made now, here on the bottom left, request date, I will facet this by today. And here's our three items with the work order on them. Thank you very much for joining us and have a nice